So today I will be addressing five parts about debating. Preparation, opening speech, for speech, impromptu speeches, and POIs. I think that the preparation is really important. So before, before the MUN debate starts, I think you have to research for all your topics in your committee. And also make sure you do your country research because when submitting amendments or supporting amendments or going against amendments, you have to know whether your country will support or go against them. And so doing country research will give you that will give you your country's position on the issue. I also think that when researching, you should collect statistics, facts, and stories to use in the hooks of your four, in the hooks of your four speeches or just against speeches. Talking about speeches, um, in your opening speech, I just have one big advice, and this is probably something that you've already heard, but it's just that be passionate, because it's the first impression that you have on the delegates, and this is what will encourage delegates to work with you and merge their resolutions with you. For your fourth speech, I think the main idea, I think, is just to have good reasons for why the amendment should pass. Have logical, effective have logical, effective reasons. If the, if the reasons are logical, you will be asked POIs about that. Uh, addressing impromptu speeches, I think the most, most, very most important thing is to have a bullet point list of the main reasons you're gonna address when you go up to the podium. Now you all know that you're not gonna have time to write your whole four speech down on honorable chairs, so you need a, you need a bullet point list of the main points that you're gonna address in the speech. I think this helped me a lot, and knowing what I was going to talk about, it was much easier to express the main idea. Now, um, addressing POIs, I think answering POIs, you have to always be confident. Because if you're not confident, I notice that other delegates don't believe you, they don't, they don't understand your answer, and they just aren't convinced with your answer. Um, so be confident. And if you do not know the answer to a POI, you can still be confident, still answer without answering it. You can still say, this delegate would like to reply in note form. Or if, it's, if the POI is addressing a hole in the resolution or amendment, you can say, the delegate encourages all delegates to submit an amendment to the second degree or an amendment. And so this way, you'll be prepared to answer. You'll know what to say even if you don't have, if, even if you don't have the answer to the POI. So just one thing with POIs, be confident. That's it. Overall, something I wish I'd known before I went to Malaysia for the MUN debate is I wish I'd known how to answer POIs, as I explained how to do before, and I wish I'd known how to give impromptu speeches. 